Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing on this beautiful day? I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning going to start a new project. And, y'all, it's cloudy and may rain. So I've been trying to think of a project. Oh, and I have coffee too, y'all. This is your coffee. Uh, have a sip <laughs> this morning. It's good. I've already tasted of it, and I'm having this one that has a red bird on it. Let me have a little sip. Oh, yes, it's good and hot, too. Haven't been too long made it. So, I'm out here this morning going to start a new project. I've been trying to think of something to do that's not too hard and too long, and I can't work with cement because it may rain, and... and I can't, uh, you know, cement doesn't do well when it's raining. And I'm trying to do something that I can start on out here and I can take it inside. And uh, that's what I've been trying to figure out. Trying to figure out what to do that would, that I could do that would, I could take it inside easy. So I've come up with something. <laughs> Y'all, it's not much. I'm telling you, I'm I'm about to run out of ideas on the time I have and what the occasion is and all. Uh, it's time changed again. Y'all, I did not know it. <laughs> I, I'm back in the... <laughs> time zone that don't even exist I don't think but anyway I I was Sunday morning I was sitting there just dragging around trying to wait for time to leave I was ready but I I, I turned I, I picked up my cell phone to see what time it was or so. I don't know what I picked. I picked it up and looked and I saw Faith Christian Assembly live. I said, and people were singing. I said, what? <laughs> I said, and that's 18, uh, that's today. I said, oh, good gracious. The time must have changed and I didn't even know it. Lord, I slung my stuff down and picked up my pocketbook and took off in the car I went up that road pretty fast, y'all. <laughs> oh, I got there, and I was late a little bit. He just started preaching when I got there. I was so embarrassed that I was late because I've never, I, I, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm not usually late. I was late that day I went fishing, and I went back by and stopped at the church because uh, it was they was having church and I was right here at it so I put some hand sanitizer on my hands and went in and sat down in the back I said the Lord don't care if I smell like a fish <laughs> but I didn't I don't I don't think I bothered anybody and and I told the preacher, you know, and he he didn't he didn't mind <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't care. And anyway, but I'm always early. I I never am late. I'm I'm most of the time I'm I'm there way ahead of time. But I don't know. I'm slipping a little bit. I I don't watch TV that much, and I don't think I watched it that day. And I went to bed, and I didn't know the time changed. I was just uh, out of it, really. <laughs> uh, Y'all, 
Wait till y'all get 80, almost 83 years old and see how y'all do. <laughs> I hope. Maybe y'all be doing better than me. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm doing something all the time. It's just... I've been sort of uh, repotting flowers and planting stuff, planting tomatoes and all kind of stuff. I'm just going all the time. I don't slow down much. But anyway, I did uh, miss a little few minutes of church, but I saw it and I went back and looked at it because it's on uh, it's on Facebook. They put they 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 have it live on Sunday morning. So I went back and watched the singing that I missed. <laughs> Y'all, it's bad when you have more to do than you really have time to do, and your brain don't. My brain don't keep up with my mine's a little slow and it's dragging. <laughs> but. It's just me here, and I do what I want to do, and I don't uh, worry about if I'm bothering somebody or not. But I might be bothering y'all, but if y'all don't like it, y'all can turn the thing off. And someone told me I need to sell my wind chimes and get some that sounded good. They don't like my wind chimes, but everybody don't like everything, you know? Everybody don't like the same things. I don't like them, and I th I do like them, but I don't really, them long ones that sounds like chiming and stuff, they're pretty and I like them, but I've got these and I like them and a lot of people like them, so I'm keeping them for a while because uh, I like them out here. They they sound good and, and I, I, I enjoy having them here and the birds like them too, I guess. <laughs> they don't they don't seem to mind. Well let let me tell y'all what I'm gonna do before I get too far in. Oh, here's my flowers, y'all. I went and picked them uh in my yard. Oh, uh, what I, what I'm gonna do, y'all? Y'all y'all don't know what this is. I know. I didn't want a long, hard project, and this might be long and hard. I don't know, but this is. It looks like a shell. It was wind chimes at one time, and they fell apart and. This is this is what they look like. They're, I think they're some sort of shells from the ocean, but they're flat and they're smooth. What I'm gonna do is, they sound pretty good when they, they have a little, I'll show y'all when I get them ready. And I've got a little thing here that I'm going to put them on. I'm going to make some wind chimes. I'm going to make some my way out of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put I've got all kind of of uh stained glass little pieces here I don't have anything to put them in I didn't bring anything out here to show y'all I'll just put them in my hand <laughs> uh, this is this is what I have all kind of little pieces of stained glass what I'm thinking about doing is sticking them on here.
like sticking them on here like this all over this side and on the back I'm going I'm going to have some wind chimes that are halfway created by me <laughs> I didn't make these these come from the ocean or somewhere I bought them at big lots long time ago and they came apart and so I've kept these little shelf things all this time and I'm going to uh, put all kind of little pieces of of this stained glass on here on, on both sides I'm going to stick them on and I'm going to put uh, uh, I don't I don't know if I'm going to put resin on them or if I'm going to just stick them on here with glue. Uh, I haven't decided yet, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get something going before it rains and, and something I can start out here because I have things blooming and I have uh, flowers blooming and I'm going to show y'all some of them. Uh, I'm going to go around and let y'all see my little apple tree that I had last year. It is blooming again. Anyway, last year my apple tree bloomed out. You know what happened? It froze. It come a freeze. Kill my blooms. I was so upset. Because it killed the blooms that I had. But. I'm going to. I'm hoping that don't happen this year. But last year when it froze. Froze them. It re-bloomed again. It didn't have as many blooms as it did the first time it came, but the it it bloomed again. And the apples were so pretty and big and nice. And I was gonna let them ripen a little, you know, turn turn uh red and stuff. I went out there to get my apples. There was a, a apple on that tree. I was so upset about my apples. The squirrels ate them. I was sitting in there on my couch, and I can see out, out here, because I look at my birds and stuff, and I see them running across the yard with something in their mouth. I didn't know they were eating my apples up. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to keep them from, from getting them. Maybe I can wrap them up with some kind of netting or something. I can't wrap up the whole tree because it's too big, but maybe I can find some netting to put around a limb. I don't know if that would keep... They'd probably eat the netting and get in there and eat them still. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have to try to figure it out when, I, when it's time for them to get ready. They don't bother them when they're green, uh, I don't guess. I don't know, but anyway. Y'all, <laughs> I, I guess I, I don't need any more wind chimes because some people are not even liking them. And they do get loud, you know. I know everybody don't like wind chimes like I do, and they don't bother me at all, but... Some people are irritated by them. They say they can't even hear me talking. But I don't know what to do about that. I, I like the wind chimes, and and, and they, they probably are people that don't like them and don't watch my videos because of them. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, they are people that like them, and, and they, they have bought some like them. And... Oh, let me thank y'all for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and all that you do for me that uh, is so sweet. And thank y'all so much for the uh, 
fan mail. I, my camera cut off. I got, I got some stuff that... My camera does the craziest stuff. When it cuts off, when it finally cuts off, it cut off way back somewhere before it looks like it cut off. So, I missed some of my openings, and I'm so sorry. I, I would not have that to happen for nothing. But, you know, I don't know it till I take it in there and uh, look at it and see that I that I'm, I'm I had I had a big old envelope of seeds. I mean, a humongous bag of all kind of seeds. I've got seeds okra seeds, uh, tomato seeds, cucumbers, watermelons, cantaloupes, you name it, I got it. <laughs> I, w I won't go hungry if I, if I get out here and plant it. And I've been, what I've been doing is little, little boxes that that stuff come in. The little square boxes, I, I cut them off, they're about this high. I filled them up with potting soil, and I planted some seeds in them, and and I, I set them around there to start growing up against the house where it's warm. So when they start coming up, and I know they gonna be okay, and uh, uh, it's not gonna freeze anymore, I'm gonna just dig out and plant that box because it's just pasteboard. It it will uh the box will deteriorate and, and let the plants grow because it's just pasteboard. It, 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 it won't uh, hurt. It won't hurt. I think the roots will grow anyway. So anyway, I've been doing all kinds of stuff, y'all, and I, I would, I'd love to go fishing. I'd love to do a whole lot of stuff I, I don't have time to do. And but I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I bought some some real strong fishing line that I'm going to hang these up and and let y'all see how pretty they go. They're going to be real pretty. I'm going to show y'all how pretty they are when I get them started. I'm going to get my glue and stuff and start gluing some on here and they won't be alike. They'll be like you know, I'm just going to stick these colors on here, and I think they're going to be real, real pretty. And I, I don't know. I know this is real, some kind of stuff from the ocean, because it's got little uh, stuff like shells have at the beach. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make them for y'all and let y'all see how pretty they are. Let me let me get my glue and come back out here. I don't know where to start out here on it or not because it's cloudy and I'm afraid it might start raining. But I'm I'm gonna get the glue and come out here and do a little bit anyway and let y'all see how it looks or how I'm going to start it. I got to cut some little pieces and I got my my little cutter wherever it is. Here it is. These little pieces I'm going to stick them on here. Y'all see, see the wind blowing. The series said it was going to rain. So I guess it's going to rain. I don't
I'm going to get my glue and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back, y'all. I'm out here. Oh, I can't believe it. The sun has come out. I'm telling you, the weather is unpredictable in Georgia. Okay, which one am I going to start on first? I think I'll, I think I'll start on this one. It's going to be little pieces. on here. Y'all, I can't believe the sun is shining. I'm telling you, it's unpre unpredictable weather. Okay, I changed my camera around just a little bit, so maybe y'all can see the sun shining and chimes is ringing and I stopped for a little while because I needed to rest, so I, I'm back out here now and trying some stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, nothing is easy anymore. It's, it's all, every time you try something, it's a, it's a challenge uh, to... try to try to make something and try to make it the way you want it to be is kind of a, and that glue is on my finger I guess it won't hurt nothing can y'all believe this weather is so unpredictable that you don't know what to do and when to do you just have to try Things happen, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Precious ass hard to cut. Y'all, I couldn't, I cannot believe this sun is shining. But thank the Lord for it. Y'all, when I get the hang of this, when I'm get all my stuff going and maybe it won't take so long but I'm not gonna make y'all watch every all this <laughs> stuff because I know it's boring to see how slow I'm going but it's gonna be pretty have to find something to fit in a place and sometimes that's a little bit difficult it's almost here the rain is is uh, is pretty close it's pretty pretty close now because i can see the clouds and they are dark and that's what it means it means it's fishing the rain and and i knew it was coming i didn't know exactly when but uh you know 
It's unpredictable when it's going to be. But they pretty well know what they're talking about most of the time. When they say it's going to rain. Uh, it pretty, pretty uh, much is going to rain. Wind is another thing, but you know it's coming. And y'all, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be. Which I do. I ought to know because I've messed with stained glass and stuff before. And I know that. I'm too particular about where I put something, is what I think the problem is. Oh, y'all, I'm fixing to have to go in because I know it's, it's about to rain. I'm going to cut it off and in a minute. I, I got to cut it off before it rains because I got to get all my things in. I sure don't want... Uh, I don't want to get wet, but, but I believe it's just about here. Just about here. I might feel a drop. I don't know. I need to stop right now and get it in because I sure don't want to get wet and I sure don't want my uh, cameras and all that to get wet. don't have but one more little thing to put in and I would love to get something right there that's my problem I don't want to quit uh -oh. okay there's there's one I don't know if y'all could see me working if y'all couldn't I'm just gonna cut it out because I'm trying to, I left the little hole. Can you see? There's the hole. I can't see what y'all can see. The hole is right there, right back there. Now I got to do this side because it's going to be turning. Okay, ain't that pretty? It's going to be pretty wherever I decide to hang it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let y'all see the the clouds because they're up there and they're dark. Y'all see the clouds. <laughs> I ought to be done in the house, but I'm I'm kind of uh I got a lot of stuff to pick up too. Uh, I'm going to show y'all my uh, flowers in the yard if I have, if I can before it uh, rains. So I'm going to turn this part off right now and, and then I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to turn the camera off and get my stuff in before I do that. All right, I'll see y'all. Y'all be uh, kind to each other and subscribe and share and uh, y'all know. And y'all are so sweet and kind. Thank you so much for watching me. I'm going to cut it off now. No, this is my little apple tree that bloomed last year. <laughs> and it bloomed early. I don't remember if it bloomed earlier than this or not, but it come a freeze and killed all the blooms okay here's my Japanese magnolia blooming so pretty Let me get up close oh they are beautiful y'all this is some spring flowers that I have blooming
here's some some uh, plum trees that I planted years ago and this is a vine growing up in there and it's, it's, it's Carolina jasmine or something it smells so sweet it is, has a sweet sweet smell oh I, that's a big uh, it's a big tree it's been planted long long time and it uh, has diseases and stuff on it but it's still alive it's not dead but it probably won't live too much longer but y'all look this <laughs> is a gourd that I planted last year it went up in a tree and it's way up there look how far it is to the ground it is where is it <laughs> I've lost it here we go here's the ground it went up in the tree there it is way up there like <laughs> I'm telling you I can't get it down it went up that that biggest tree and there there's the ground part right there and it went up that tree and I reckon it'll be there till it gets ready to come down because I sure can't get it down. I never had a gourd to go that high before, <laughs> which I, I've never planted gourds before. I didn't know they would grow that way. Well, let me turn it off and thank y'all so much for being so sweet and caring. I just wanted to let y'all see my, uh, some of this stuff in my yard that's blooming it, but it won't be long. Y'all have a blessed, blessed evening, and I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye-bye. Y'all, we are having tornado warnings, and the trees are blowing, and... Sure hope it, it doesn't get real real bad. The lights has already went off two times, but it came back on. But all right, I just wanted to show y'all this. I'm gonna get back in there to my my uh, wind chime making. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Y'all, if I suddenly disappear, <laughs> uh, we're having tornado warnings here. And the wind is blowing and the lights has went out three times already this morning. I am trying to get this project finished I worked on this I worked on these little things they are so pretty but you can't see how pretty they are because there's no light shining on them or nothing but anyway I worked on them and I put y'all would not believe how much time I spent on these little old bitty things. I think my projects are going to be short and maybe uh, not so long. If I let y'all see all that that I done. All I done though was put glue on here and stick these little things in here. My goodness, I got all of one side done. Then I had to turn it over and do another side. They are so pretty though. I wish y'all could see the full effect 
I don't guess the sun's going to come out today because uh, there's warnings, tornado warnings all over. And if I suddenly just disappear, <laughs> y'all know the tornado got me. <laughs> I hope that don't happen. But I wanted to let y'all see how pretty they are. So pretty. I wish this. I wish the the light was on them a little better. But I don't know how I could. I don't know how. Oh, good morning, y'all. I'm having. I'm. I'm. I'm not together this morning. I wanted to get this project done so I could put it on YouTube. And it seems like everything's happening that might prevent it. But I'm going to try my best. I didn't let y'all see all the all that that I did because it's, it's just this. Sticking it on every... And... That takes a lot of time. That's not that big. <laughs> and I didn't think it would take that long. But my thinking ain't always the way it ought to be. What, I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, where's my, where's my string? Let me get it. <laughs> I, I bought some fishing string to hang these up by where's my oh there's my scissors I'm trying to figure out how long they need to be this is some pretty strong this is what I need for fishing for, for catching bass it's 50 pound test. <laughs> 50 pound. A fish could be on that and not break. So, I don't think I got to worry about catching no 50 pound fish. But, okay, let me. I, I left a little hole here somewhere. Y'all. My little rabbit is back. My little hop along, I call him. <laughs> He's back. I don't know where he goes and why he stays gone. Uh, what? Well, well, he might be here. I just don't see him. But I'm outside a lot, and I and I haven't seen that little rascal. There's a hole. Ooh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I'm putting a string through that hole. And I'm going to tie it like, like a fishing line, I reckon. Oh, let's see if I can. I don't, how do I do it? I don't forgot how. I think you twist your line. I'm telling you. It's, it's just hard to get something done and the weather the way it is. And it's pretty one day. Well, uh, we've had a right good many pretty days. But it's, it's, uh, I like all of them pretty, but, you know, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. But. I like them anyway. Oh, uh, I'm I'm I've been planting stuff and getting ready to plant stuff, and I, I my time, I'm just my time it gets gone, and I have to go and go to town, and that takes up a lot of my time, and I don't really care about even going, but I have to. Let me see. I can't see how to get that in that little thing. I'm ready to 
go fishing again. But I don't know. I bought me a new spinner so I can get get a bigger fish. <laughs> uh I don't know if I if I'm gonna get one or not, but Okay, I got that tied. I reckon I got it tied. Y'all, last year, St. Patrick's was canceled, and it's canceled this year. Uh, not having it because of the virus. And, oh my goodness, we, we're going to survive, I guess. Uh, I got some little beads here that I'm going to put on here to make them look prettier. I'm ready to get them fixed and finished and get them hung up. They're not going to clean together like mine out there. That that lady that didn't like my wind chimes might like these. Because <laughs> they they, they're they not going to make any noise. When they were just shells, they kind of made a dull noise. But I've done, let me see. Let me clean them together. See, they're not going to. They not gonna do nothing. They not going they just gonna be pretty hanging up. <laughs> Where's my little here's my little my little thing I'm gonna put them on. figure out how long to make them and all the all kind of stuff you got to think about and figure out and they not going to all be the same uh, length I, I may not even have any of them other wind chimes out there because that wind is doing some blowing I don't, that's a little bit long, in my opinion. See how it's going to turn? Mm. I'm telling you, this is some big old fishing line. I, I need it when I go catch a big old bass. <laughs> But there's no danger of me catching a 50-pound bass <laughs> and breaking this line. And I wouldn't mind hanging one. <laughs> It'd probably break that pole all to pieces. Y'all. Things... <laughs> You just have to be patient and deal with whatever comes up that 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 you're having. I try to find a project that 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 will that I can do. Well, I was going to do this project and I was going to go outside and do it out there. Well, it rained. It didn't rain while I was doing that, but it rained. It rained that afternoon after I got finished with what I was doing. It rained. And it rained in the night uh, and thundered and lightning. And, but I didn't. It didn't do it while I was outside, so 
I was thankful for that. And y'all, this ain't gonna be, uh, this ain't gonna be the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It's just gonna hang out there in the yard and it's gonna turn like this. And all these colors and it's got little mirrors. It's got little I'm sure oh, let me get up. This it's got that red is red mirrors and the and it's got blue. And it's got a, a regular mirror. And all these beautiful tiles here. It's going to be so pretty. And it's, it's on both sides. Oh, it's going to be so pretty when I get it fixed. Okay, let me see. How many, hole, how many holes have I got? One. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine. So let me see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten little things and nine little holes. Okay, let me. Let me. See, I'm not going to have them the same height length or whatever you want to call it <laughs> let me see if i can get it tied off now this is the biggest fishing line i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i i went to walmart and i wanted something to do this with i i, I wanted some strong a uh, uh, line to hold this because uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't want no little thin uh, stuff that might break or something. I wanted something that would hold up and because these little things y'all wouldn't believe how heavy they are with all that stuff stuck on them. I didn't, I didn't know, but that, that don't matter. It's going to hold up. It don't matter how heavy it is. Uh, okay. Let me cut that. Let me see. Y'all, this is, this is one of a kind, y'all. <laughs> y'all know. Uh, there's nobody got no shells like this and got these little things and it's going to make a wind chime like this. This is one of a kind. I don't know where the hole is. And that one, it's there. I just ain't got time. Oh, here's, here's one I can tie. Y'all, if this camera cuts off, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and be working on it because it's like, it's like this right here. It's the same old thing, like tying and, and I know y'all don't care about seeing all that stuff. And this fishing line just keeps it rolling around and that. Getting in my way. Oh shoot! I, I forgot to put my little bead on it. Oh, I can do that afterwards. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Y'all think I'm getting old? <laughs> I think I am. I think I. I think I am. I'm telling you. 
I want to tell y'all a little story. Uh, when we, when we was, you know, when we lived in the country, and we didn't have a car, we didn't have nothing, we didn't have no electricity. We moved from there. My daddy went in the Navy, and we was, we was out there. And we moved to Swainsboro, and me and my sister, would come home from school, where's the hole in that thing? I know it's got one. There. Me and my sister, we went to school, and after school, we decided to stay and play outside because my mama was working and my daddy was in the Navy. No, my daddy was, was home by then. My daddy had got out of the Navy. And uh, some of, some of uh, I think some more youngins was with us. And we decided to play after school and on the playground because they had all kinds of stuff we never had that kind of stuff to play with or nothing and uh we stayed and played and well it, it got it getting late i guess i don't know it wasn't too late but uh we, we, we didn't go home where we needed to. We was playing and having a, a good time. And we got out there, this big old hill of black stuff was out there. We didn't know what it was. We Y'all, my camera cut off while I was telling y'all about our adventure me and my sister was on. I I told y'all we went to the school. Uh, we didn't leave. We just we we just stayed and played. Anyway we didn't know what coal was. We didn't know it would get on you. We were just running up and down in that mess and we was black we didn't even realize how dirty we was i mean that stuff would get on you i'd never seen any coal before anyway we played and uh lo and behold My daddy, we looked up and we saw my daddy coming to get us. And let me find this hole. Mm, I don't know where that one is. Let me look for another one. Anyway, he come, he, uh, he came and found us. He had a big old long whip in his hand and we we was scared to death. <laughs> he would say, did y'all know what time it is that y'all were supposed to be home? And, we didn't know what time it was. We were just playing and having us a big old time on that coal. And, because we didn't know what it was. We was just, we just act like it was a mountain and we were just running up and down it. And I got to see this hole wherever it is. Yeah. 
He'd say, your mama's going to tear you up when you get home. Mama whipped us, but daddy didn't. But he would scare us to death. Like, uh, we knew mama would whip us. But, and we didn't know daddy wouldn't, but he never did. <laughs> I can't find the hole. Let me see if I can find a hole on this one. Oh, here it is. Anyway, he'd, he'd take that whip and he'd pop it up against his britches leg and it sound oh, it sounded terrible. We just knew we was going to get beat to half to death. <laughs> and I think we did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He'd say, your mama's going to tear you up when you get home. He'd hit his step, and we'd jump about this high off the ground every time he'd do that. It was tickling him because it was funny to him. He wasn't going to get a whipping. <laughs> uh, anyway, we, we, uh, we got home. Sure enough, we got a whipping. <laughs> We didn't never go play on that coal pile again. <laughs> we we thought we liked we liked playing and stuff, you know. We was having us a good time. We didn't know we was gonna get a whipping though. <laughs> we might not have had such a good time if we'd have known what was coming. <laughs> oh, we used to do all kind of stuff that really probably was dangerous, you know. Uh, there used to be a sawmill uh, close to our house. And it was like a mountain, too. It was like way up yonder. It was piled up. And, and we, there were some more youngins in our neighborhood that uh, come play with us, and we we uh we decided we we was gonna go to that uh sawmill after they closed and play on that pile of sawdust. We was running up and down that sawdust pile. I mean, it was like a mountain, really. It was tall. It was way up. It's taller than this this house. We went. We'd play on, and that was so dangerous. We could have got a stuck with a splinter or a piece of wood or I don't even know if we had any shoes. I think we hit with barefoot. And we we played over there on that thing. We didn't get no whipping that time. I don't think nobody knew we was over there. <laughs> we didn't we did we didn't get caught over there playing in that mess. <laughs> you know Youngers do some crazy stuff when they little. But back then, it wasn't as dangerous as it is now with children going off and uh, doing stuff by their, you know, just youngins playing around. But uh, nowadays, uh, the children can't do that. They can't uh, wander off and play and do that kind of stuff like we did because it's too dangerous. But times have changed <laughs> drastically. I don't know. I don't know what kind of uh, things will be happening in the coming years because uh, children are, are, are not, can't even do near what we used to do and, and we didn't, and it, you know, we never got, well, we didn't get hurt or nothing. We, we got a it hurt when we got a whipping for doing something we did what shouldn't have been doing, but we we didn't think nothing was wrong with it. We were just playing. 
but we found out. We found out we supposed needed to be home, and we we wasn't. I don't know how Daddy knew where we was. We didn't live far from the school. He might have figured that's where we was. I don't know. But you gotta have fun doing something. We didn't have we didn't have much, and we just played with what was what was available. We thought we was on the schoolyard. It was okay, you know, and we we didn't know <laughs> we did. We needed to be home. My sister was two years younger than me. Her birthday was March the 13th and mine's March the 20th, two years apart. But she was always bigger than me and, and like acted. She was younger, but she acted older. She she really uh <laughs> was more mature than I was. When I uh she she always acted older. I always played around and done a lot of I I wasn't serious about nothing. I was just playing and having a good time and but youngins will do things that is a is a, a danger and they don't realize it you know they don't they just doing stuff for the moment you know they don't think about uh well i don't all we done i guess was get so dirty <laughs> and my mama she didn't like for us to get dirty she made our clothes and and out of flour sacks and whatever she had, she could sew anything. She could make clothes and she didn't like for us to get dirty. But we got dirty that day. We got, uh, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't even tell who we was. We were so dirty. But that's, that's all gone now. <laughs> in the past and but I still got my memories and I still like to think about what I used to do and how it was and y'all back at back in them days we didn't have computers and we didn't have tele <laughs> we didn't have a telephone we had one bicycle between between us and we had to ride it together or ride it one at a time and a lot of times I I rode it and my sister would sit on the seat and I'd pedal it. I was a little old skinny little thing and she was a little heavier than me. She didn't want to pedal. She wanted to ride. <laughs> I don't think I ever remember a time her uh, pedaling the bicycle and me sitting on the seat because she just she just didn't do that. She wanted she wanted to ride and me to pedal it. And that seems like it's been <laughs> the story of my life. A little bit, you know. <laughs> oh. I think it is pouring down rain. I hear something. It sounds like rain. Let me go look. I know it is because I hear it. Oh my goodness. Yep, it's raining. That right out right there is where I would be if it wasn't raining and it wasn't a tornado coming, but it 
I got my little uh, hummingbird things out, but I haven't seen a hummingbird. All right, let me turn it off and go back over here to the table. I knew it was raining because I could hear it. Maybe, maybe the tornado watch is over. Y'all, it is, is, it's good to have memories that, uh, that you can look back on and remember how it was and, uh, thank the Lord for our memories that we have that, you know, that. If you lose your memory, then you've lost a lot. Y'all, I'm probably going to turn it off and uh, finish up this. This is like what I, what I did down here. This is just same old thing over and over and over. And I've showed y'all how I'm doing it. I'm... Uh, putting fishing line uh, on it and and that's over and over and over and y'all y'all already see how to do it so there's no need in y'all having to watch all this whenever oh y'all uh I want to thank y'all for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and all that y'all do. Uh, thank y'all so much. I know y'all could be watching a, 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 a lot more professional somebody than me, but thank y'all for, for coming and watching my videos and being so kind and caring. Are y'all believing this? I'm finished with it. Is it not beautiful? Oh, it's so pretty. Y'all, I wish y'all could see it. I think I'm going to take it out on the porch. Y'all see it on the outside. And I want to thank y'all again and be kind to others. Less fortunate people, be kind to them. And anyone that has is down on their look and or looks like having a hard time or a bad day, smile and and ask them how they're doing and and be cheerful and maybe it'll cheer them up. Thank y'all so so much for watching my videos outside. <laughs> Maybe a tornado won't blow us away. Y'all, this is this is my wind chimes. I I hope y'all can see how pretty they are. They are beautiful. And it's and it is still dropping rain. It slacked up for just a minute. And I thought I would come out here and let y'all see. How pretty they are. And it's dropping. I see, oh, it's some black clouds back there. Oh, my goodness. Well, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this process. I know it wasn't the best in the world, but uh, it's the best I could do <laughs> under the circumstances. <laughs> uh, thank y'all so, so much. Be a blessing and, and try this if y'all uh, try to make uh, some wind chimes and see how, <laughs> if you put uh, stained glass on them, you'll find out. It's, it's pretty time consuming, but everything I do is time consuming <laughs> just about. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all. Y'all want y'all to see it, how pretty. Is my lens fogging up? <laughs> 